you're focused in ways that pinch that off so you feel ornery or more like fearful you can feel that too so you have an emotional sense of how much of who you are you are allowing to be focused with you in any moment we call that your guidance system your emotions your emotions are your best not only but best indicator of your vibrational alignment as it compares to the vibrational alignment of your inner being does that make sense to you you have an inner being you have an inner being but you had an inner being before you had this physical being and that non-physical inner part of you focused a part of you here and you became this human personality in the making as you respond to the atmosphere around you while your inner being remains consistently knowing these things you have come into your body with tremendous intention really strong desire you wanted to be out here on the leading edge the leading edge of two things we've not said this to you before the leading edge of the new thought because the contrast inspires you to a new take on life or a new decision or a new desire but also not just to the new desire but you are the first who gets to witness the unfolding of that desire as the vibrations turn to thoughts and the thoughts turn to words and things and that's what you want most as humans long before you had any sense of what goes on in a gathering like this you lived enough life to know that there were things that you wanted and mostly you knew what you wanted when you didn't have it when you saw someone else experiencing it while you weren't mostly you know what you want when you're living something that you don't want to live you want a relief from that in other words the contrast the magnificent contrast of your physical leading edge time and space inspires you to your specific clear new decisions about what you want and you came with that powerful knowing that you would be inspired to the new desire but you also knew that you were going to witness the manifestation of that desire it wasn't just a fleeting dream it wasn't just a hopeful thing it wasn't wishing it was creating you knew that you would create your life experience and you were ravenous about the idea of it you were so eager to get here where you could sort of look around and make your own decisions and find your place and feel where you are and compare yeah compare yourself to others and learn through life experience because words don't teach what you prefer what you prefer and you knew coming in that your preferences would be honored and supported and helped you felt worthy in a way you don't even understand the word in your body quite yet eager and knowing and worthy and ready but after you hang around here for a while with others you sort of water that down that pure love that you feel for yourself you water down with people that look at you weird or with people that don't approve of you of people who really don't mean anything to you but still they matter to you for weird reasons and so over time most humans sort of muddy the waters of clarity through observations of unwanted we want you to know that you getting what you want which is what you intended to do when you came because you're a creator you knew that that just meant figuring it out and then looking in the direction of it period point at it not an opposition of it and yet as observers of life and considerers of what you want you have developed a natural we will say propensity 
to weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses and the, yeah, I want that and I don't want that. And you've become so objective that you've become waterers, downers of everything you want. Instead of just say, yes, I prefer a good meal, you say, but should I spend that much money on it? Instead of saying, I adore prosperity and I would like money to enhance my sense of freedom, you say, but isn't that selfish? Shouldn't I just take what I need? Because you've forgotten that you are the attractor or summoner of the energy that provides everything that you focus upon. So you focus this away and that away and this away and that away. And then you complain that things don't go more this away. And we say, stop talking so much about that away and more things will go this away. And you say, Abraham, it cannot be that simple. And we say, it is. It is that simple. You've just forgotten how simple it is because you complicated it. Because when you've cluttered your mind in your confusion, you can't see how simple it can be. Watch the young ones. They have not forgotten. The beasts of your planet. That's a term of endearment. The critters, the creatures, those beasts of your planet that are selfishly oriented and not ashamed of it. And so we want to talk to you about anything that matters to you. What we want is to help you to clarify, to purify, to clean up your vibration so that you are more often, more wholeheartedly advocating for yourself in the way that your inner being and all of us do. Self-interest is a real thing. You are self-interested, but are you a self-advocator or are you a protester against other selves? There's a difference. When you look at a world and find a piece of it that you disapprove of and you protest that or push against it, you are not advocating for self. You are working against yourself. You have muddied your own waters. And we know that it seems logical that you would do it because nearly everybody is. Seems like that's the thing to do to see it and say no at the things that you want not and didn't we say something sort of like that when we said you're sifting and sorting and choosing but once you have decided for a minute what as far as you can see from where you are you are choosing then choose that say words that line up with it and hang around with people who get that too don't run around the world trying to get them all to see your point of view they weren't born to do that they're not prone to do that they're not likely to do that and you have a hard time getting them to do that and in the meantime you point in opposition to what you want with what you think are good intentions but it's not what we call win-win what we call win-win is you deciding what you want, your inner beings on board with you. When you know what you don't want and know what you do want, you launch a rocket of desire. Really, a vibrational energy emits from you and it's culminated because of the law of attraction and your inner being's attention to your desire or request into a cluster, into a vortex. It really does move like this where cooperative components are gathered on your behalf. No matter what, no matter how big or little you choose them to be, they are gathered on your behalf. The question that this workshop will answer for you, if you want it to, is what's your relationship with your inner being and the gathering of all of the things that you've been identifying that you want? If you are proud of yourself and eager for more and easy to love, and really scarcely to hate and mostly nice and hardly ever mean 
and mostly clear-minded and not confused that much and mostly an advocate and hardly ever a protester. If you are a yeser and not a knower, then you're living a pretty good life because you are in sync with your inner being and you have the juice of your inner being flowing with you and you feel clear and things are working out for you and other people might not understand why it happens that way with you. One of Esther's grandchildren said to her on his first cruise, Esther has been on many, he came to her cabin and he said, why do you get the lucky room? <laughs> because it was really big and really nice and his was much smaller. Why do you get the lucky room? And Esther said, because I'm lucky. He said, well, how do you get lucky? And Esther said, because I'm happy. And he said, oh, I've been happy, but I'm not lucky. And Esther said, yes, you are. Yes, you are. No. Right away, at his very young age, he's comparing Esther's apparent luck with his own and feeling that he was coming up short because the comparison just in that moment between her cabin and his made him feel less lucky. Well, that's a sort of human response to physical life, isn't it? Comparison with a sort of self-interest that could lean toward deprivation. But if you decide that you are the only one who can deprive yourself and that you are being exposed to experiences so that you can choose, Esther said to this little guy, you know, I'm glad that you're noticing the difference. And I just want you to know that you can always choose. You can always choose. And sometimes it takes a while. When I was your age, I never thought of being on a ship. Now, Esther doesn't really like to go there with little ones. When I was your age, I'd never been on an airplane. <laughs> candy bars were a nickel in the olden days when I ate candy. But what Jerry always said about his grandchildren and about every human he ever met, I want them to know what their options are. I want them to know what their options are. And that's what you knew coming in. You knew you would be exposed to options and you knew that you were unlimited. So we're here to help you find your way back from the limitations that you have infused into your life experience because they're not real. There are no limitations that are imposed upon you. There are only limitations that you assume upon yourself. And that's hard to hear because you didn't mean to do it. But you did it because you didn't know about the law of attraction and you didn't know about your focus and you didn't know about vibration and you didn't know that when you focus upon something, wanted or not wanted, it's a come to me this thing wanted or unwanted when you shout no at something you are literally saying I don't want you but come to me and when you find something that you do want and you shout yes at it you say I've lived enough life to determine that I would like some of you come on come on but then what do you do next you say come on but you're coming too slowly or come on but what took you so long or come on but do I really get what I want come on my mother wouldn't be happy about this. So we know there's a lot of thinking that's going to take place today. And there are some things that are going to really resonate with you. And there are some things that are going to rub you the wrong way. Because we're going to talk to you about the laws of the universe and your worthy place within them. And then we're going to leave it up to you to do with that what you will. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next video.